Hello and welcome to today's video and in this video we are going to compare T12, T8 and T5 fluorescent lamps with the modern replacement the LED and starting at the top we have this 8 foot T12 light fitting and the tubes in this fitting are warm white so we'll turn this one on first okay and as I said in the previous video these light fittings were mainly used in supermarkets anywhere where they needed a lot of light they were used in other places as well but mostly these lights were seen in supermarkets anyway we'll turn that one off and we'll go down to the next light fitting the next light fitting can take either T8 or T12 fluorescent lamps so I'm going to show you some T12s and then we'll put T8s in it for the main light up of everything and this tube is a Sylvania standard F65 80 watt R133 also known as a T12 in cool white it's recyclable and it's made in Germany and we'll put that in that one And the other tube is a bit harder to read and it's a bit discolored but it still works fine and this is a Philips MCFE again in cool white it's a T12 and this one was made in France and the etch is virtually gone but you can just about make it out turn them on and these are a little more flickery but these were used more in classrooms and even in kitchens in houses it's mostly you could say the five foot fluorescent light is the or was the most commonly used light in the UK anyway we'll, um, we'll turn them off and we'll go down to the next light fitting okay the next light fitting is the T8s and these are Osram L58 watt 840s or also known as T8s Luminex, cool white, made in Germany, and I believe these are very modern. And these are the ones that contain less mercury, but still seem to work absolutely fine. But anyway, we'll put this one in the the top light fitting again. And the other one is identical. Another odds run, and we'll put that one. And the advantage, of course, with these preheat light fittings is they can run on either T12 or T8s. There are five foot light buttons that are rapid start, which will only run on T12s. And there are some later ones uh, with electronic ballasting, which will only run on T8s. But they are quite nice and bright. And again, they're cool white. So we'll turn them off and we'll go down to the next light fitting. The next light fitting 
is an electronically ballast T5 light fitting and this one requires two tubes to work and these are the tubes it just says fusion EDP 35 840 35 watt and these are T5s and these are the new generation of fluorescent lights and these do not flicker at all they are very bright and I've seen these used now in multi-story car parks and they also use these at my workplace and there's the other one so we'll just pop that one in and these are electronically ballasted so it's instant start up it does require both tubes to work and these lights will actually work absolutely fine until one of the tubes fails and then basically the light will come on and then turn straight back off again where the preheat light fittings will just flash and flash until they fail either burning out the starter or the tube itself and of course finally in this collection of lights we have the LED light at the bottom now working correctly again I have changed the drivers that I found some on eBay and I've just basically the light was 72 watts so I bought two 36 watt drivers and at the moment it seems to be working absolutely fine and you could say this is the problem with LED lights that for, to repair this one I had to literally cut it open to get out the panel where if a fluorescent light fails you just replace the tube the starter or in some cases the ballast itself but they're a lot easier to work on than these new LED lamps so what we're going to do we're now going to start turning on all the lights one after each other so at the moment the LED light is on so now I'm going to turn back on the 5 foot T5 electronic ballast as you can see still no flickering and now we're going to turn on the T8s slight bit of flickering and finally finishing with the T12s which I said again are in warm white where the T8s, the T5s and the LED light seem to be in cool white. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of these little different lights, the T12 fluorescent light, the T8 fluorescent light, the T5 fluorescent light and the LED. And if you want in the comments below, you can tell us which one is your favorite. I think personally mine would be the T12s. There's something about the T12s when they burn out. They're a lot more interesting than the, the T8s. The T8s just flash until eventually they glow at the ends. The T5s don't do anything impressive at all. They just turn on and turn off. But some of the LED light fittings are starting to fail in interesting ways, like the one I shown in the video earlier. But on that note, I'm going to say thanks again for watching. And we'll slowly start turning these lights off, starting with the LED and then going back to the T12. And I'd like to say thanks again for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video of this collection of lights I have. Thank you and goodbye.